For most people, puberty is something that starts naturally on its own. But pediatric endocrinologists like myself often see children who haven't started puberty by the typical age. A challenge in evaluating these children is that we have no reliable method to predict which children will eventually go through puberty on their own, which most children will, and which children have a rare pathological problem with a reproductive endocrine system. To address this problem, we've developed a new diagnostic test called the Kisspeptin Stimulation Test. In our study, we administered this test to 16 girls and boys with delayed or stalled puberty to determine who would respond to Kisspeptin and who wouldn't. We then followed these children until age 18, following some for up to four years, to see who would eventually enter and progress through puberty. We found that eight of these 16 children had clear responses to Kisspeptin, and these eight children eventually progressed through puberty. The other eight children did not respond to Kisspeptin robustly, and none of them entered puberty on their own by age 18. So, in this cohort of children, the Kisspeptin stimulation test accurately predicted which children would progress through puberty and which would not. We're now planning a larger study to determine the accuracy of the Kisspeptin stimulation test, and we anticipate that the test will be an invaluable clinical tool for evaluating and managing children with delayed puberty.